Hello, me dears, and welcome back to what is no more the cave of Altus Gracius, because Altus Gracius is gone. Welcome back to Let's Play Blasphemous, etc. Um, this is all very sad, isn't it? I love Altus Gracius. Altus Gracius is one of my favourite characters in this game. I love the lore for her, um, the background, the way it implies mythology. It's really clever, and the the passivity of the monster, um, despite the fact that it's one of the most monstrous. things things in this game. One of the most beautifully designed sprites, that's for damn sure. That's for damn damn sure. Okay. We need to go and find more of those areas with the roots. And I know where there's a couple. I know where there's quite a few. There's quite a few up in the mountains, in the, uh, the graveyard of the peaks. There's quite a few up there. There's one in Hondo that's quite useful if we can get it. Um... There's lots of them, actually. There's lots of them. And some of them lead to some very interesting areas, indeed. Where hath we yet to go? Ooh, yeah, where the olive trees were. There's lots of places that need to open up there. Lots of places that need to open up. Okay. Right. Where can we go? Hmm. This doesn't go anywhere, does it? No, that's St. Stabatha's area. Up we go! Now, the next boss is a real pain in the arse. He's easily the toughest boss thus far. Um, requires a lot of forethought before you fight him. He's very, very tough. The last time he took me many tries. Many tries to kill. Right. I'm just going to see if I can go down that way. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get down there. But I'm just going to see if I, if I can. I want to know what's down there. Like, desperately. Ew. Turn into bubbling slime. Delicious. Ew. Yuck. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I don't think I can access this area yet. I'm going to double check just in case. See what we need. Ow, you swine. I think there's a... Um, a portcullis in the way. Yeah. Bollocks. We have to come at it from that way. But I can't yet. I, I haven't got the means. Hmm. That's va that is very interesting. Right. Um, where shall we go? I think we shall head. We'll head up. We'll head up this way. And through to where the olive trees wither, because there's stuff to do up there. There's lots of stuff to do as it happens. Ow! Ew. Gross. Okay. So we head up. The map is an absolute godsend in this game. It really is. We need the relic that allows us to traverse the muck, um, to move freely in the water. That will be uh, so useful when we get it. In fact, I can go this way to get to where the olive trees wither. I can go this way. And then head up and out. Whoa. Oh, excuse me, ladies and gents, I have a little bit of a cold at the moment. Tis the season for them. Tis the season. Whoa! That was close. Hmm. Hello? Okay, we're heading in the right direction, certainly. Yuck. 
Whee! And out this way. Excellent. Wasteland of the Buried Churches. This is awesome, isn't it? Oh, have we not been this way before? Or did we just not get that relic before? Hmm, I know. Uh, Capitate of Barok, the Herald. Let's have a look. Capitate of Barak the Herald. Whether executions or lashings, Barak was always there to proclaim them loudly, but his voice broke down gradually as day by day he had to announce the sentences of his entire family. Oh dear, Barak. <laughs> Whoa. Ugh. Oh, that was close. That nearly killed us. The background is really worth paying attention to in this game. You get the you get the impression of just how many cults and churches have passed by in this world. Um, how many of them have died, uh, which is a lot, a hell of a lot. And uh, the penitent one who we play, he's kind of the, the remnant of a dead church. I mean, as we see at the beginning, his church had been slaughtered. They've all been destroyed, and we really don't find out why. I don't think we ever find out quite what's going on in that regard. And I like that about the game. It leaves uh, a lot open to mystery. Yes, this is good. This is good. Excellent. Sadly, there are areas here that will never open up because we didn't uh, do this quest in time. With the gentleman. Yeah, we'll never talk to him now, unfortunately, which is a real shame. It's a tough quest to do, that one. It's timed. That's what makes it such a bastard. Um, the minute you enter this area, basically, um, his quest timer starts counting down. And if you don't do it in a certain time, you don't do it. It's as simple as that. Right, I need to go up the way. Can't reach them here, can I? Nope. Masters. There we are. This is where we want to go. You see, look, we've got one of our trees branching off there now, which we didn't have before. So, if we head this way, we've got quite a few things here. Got that for one thing, and we also have this new area. If I remember correctly, this is rather tough. This area. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it might be. Right. Yeah, there's the branch only comes out so far though, so you've got to be really careful. And there's a relic. Heart of Cerulean Incense, so that is actually a sword a sword core. Which is very useful. Let's have a look. Uh, sword core that shines surrounded by a blue, uh, clear blue mist emanating from small creases. Its scents mixed with the smell of shed blood, increasing further generation. Regrettably, the mist affects purity, weakening, weakening attacks based on blood. Um, it's alright. The works and graces of the sorrowful miracle, third verse. All those who once were swallowed by the ashes emerged from it in great hordes. The hordes of the miracle, the punished, with only faith in their minds and only rage in their guts, willing to punish all those who had escaped from such a holy fate, from the will of the miracle itself. Wow, okay. Okie dokie. Right, there's another one of those... Um, there's another one of those uh, areas here, but I can't quite remember where it is, unfortunately. So this might be this might be tricky. 
Whoop. Okay. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. I think we may come back for that one, actually. Um, I'm going to head down and maybe uh, try my hand at this boss. Well, I might if I don't just plunge off the pit and kill myself like an ass. Yeah. Oh, well, at least it's brought us back. Now, this is a tough boss, ladies and gents. I'm not going to lie. And he's going to take me a few tries. He is going to take me a few tries because a lot of him relies on luck. Uh, you'll know who it is the moment we see him because he's... Uh, we've met him before. We've met him uh, a handful of times already. Oh, it's our friend! I didn't know he came out this way. Oh, penitent one, is it true that the roads are free? Uh, the yeah. Vision thou allowest me to behold. Blessed be our encounter. Oh, good. I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself. Little toe made of limestone. Thank you, man. It is of little use for me to remain here. Go with the father, O oh, penitent one. Yeah, likewise. Uh, mind the spikes. So, little toe made of limestone. Toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim. The vestigial little toe pushed the stones out of his path, increases dodging resistance. That's kind of cool. Uh, the master gathered us all together like every morning and said, A genuine genuflecting pilgrim must never divert their eyes from the earth they walk on, for this is our rule. Okay. So they never look up from the earth. That's interesting. Hence the weights and whatnot. God, I love all those skeletal, desiccated churches in the background. It's amazing. It's so pretty. Okay, here we go. This boss is bloody hard. I am telling you now. Here he is. Recognize him. Yeah. You should. He is so bloody tough. Okay, well. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you. Ah. He's so difficult to dodge. It's unbelievable. What's he gonna do? Okay. You have to get him on his cooldown. If you don't, he's gonna he is gonna smite you basically. Ah, bastard. You see how he doesn't really allow you time to heal or anything like that? That's the nature of this fight, unfortunately. It's what it's like. And it's about to get worse if we get him down to half health. It's... Ah. He is so difficult. It's... Ah, bastard. Yes, we will do him, don't worry. I have killed him before. Like, once. <laughs> once. Okay, my loves. Let's try this again, shall we? Here we are at the Bridge of the Three Calvaries with the boss that just keeps on killing me. Oh, oh. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's doing his Stormbringer thing. You've got to be so careful of him. Ah! Part of the problem is your limited reach. Your reach um, as the um, the penitent one, or whatever his name is, is so limited. In general. 
that very often you find yourself um, just outside of range of him. <clears throat> very, very often that's the case. What's he going to do? Ah. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Whew, God. This is the hardest fight in the entire game, ladies and gents. It's way harder than the last one. Oh, fuck. This is horrible. Ah. Oh, you utter bastard. It's everything about it. It's the knockback. It's everything. It's so bloody tough. He also has these bizarre periods of invincibility um, whenever the lightning is on him. So you've got to watch for that too. Knowing when to hit him is half the is half the fight. Fuck. And it's actually really tough to figure out. Really bloody tough. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh, fucking hell. Whenever the lightning is on him, he's invulnerable. And you get so few windows in this, uh, in, when he's in this attack mode, you get so few windows to actually harm him. And he is the kind of boss that just keeps coming. He is not going to give you an inch. Wow. He is so hard. Whoa, oh, here we go. He's actually changed again now. So now he's even harder, believe it or not. Because she's here. And she is a pain in the friggin' ass. What I would say is, don't even bother with her. Focus exclusively on him. Don't even bother with her. It's all him. Fuck. Got him! There we go! With my last gasp of health. There we go. Requiem Eternum. Translation. Fuck you. You have acquired Taranto to my sister. Guilt has been expiated. Yeah, it bloody has. Fucking hell. That fight. Oh my god, that fight. Right, let's have a look at what we've got, shall we? Um, we have the Taranto to my sister. Plea to the storms, intoned by dry throats and shaking voices. Calls forth blazing rags that pierce the clouds, striking down nearby enemies. It's actually pretty good. Sister of mine, don't leave me, for I carry you in my breast and in my heart. Sister of mine, don't leave me bleeding, for I carry you in my chest and in my blood. Sister of mine, don't leave me in silence, for I carry you in my bosom and in my song. Not anymore, you don't. <laughs> but sincerely, ladies and gents, that fight, whew, that's the toughest in the game. We've just done the hardest boss in the game. All the others are, are petty compared to that. They really are. Even, um, what's his face? The last guy who we're going to go meet um, at some point. Not for a long while, though. Oh, there he is. Hello. I feel my blood turning into black sand, and my aged skin into reddish bark. Oh, poor you. Didums. Okay, now this is basically. Look in the background. Can you see all the? Oh, and in the foreground, actually, all the twisted souls here. It's so cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Never was there a game with this amount of nudity. Never was there. Hello! The patio of the silent steps. Those you have removed from punishment. Removed. Petwa and Isdras. <laughs> yes, they were. Foundling siblings who went on to be part of his holiness guard. Well, now they're in parts. Nah. It was said that Perpetua could speak to her brother even after death. All oh, right, okay. For 
twisted are the paths of the miracle. He sounds like he relishes that, doesn't he? Sorrowful be the Yes, I know, sorrowful be the heart and all that. I like him. Oh dear, what is that? Oh dear, hello. You look like a corpse I might be able to talk to if I put a particular relic on. Does it not? Let's give it a go. I thought so. On this sacred floor I will be safe. They will hear neither my footsteps nor my fear. The miracle wanted the oranges from those trees to make no sound on falling, so that only the wind through the columns and buttresses could be heard. Now I hear only the horrific screams of those punished by the miracle. I will wait patiently. Whoa, oh, fuck. Jesus. That's, uh... That's powerfully unpleasant, that. Uh, ah hey! Well, that's an excellent way to celebrate. Yeah. There's some hair trigger platforming here, I'm telling you. That's going to collapse, too. Hello, you. What are you doing? Oh! Making horrible things grow. That's going to collapse. Something's going to collapse here. I thought so. <clears throat> Excuse me. You again. Ugh. Gross. That's right, I'm calling you gross. You are gross. That's gonna collapse too. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to come at that from a different angle. Okay. <laughs> the music is getting a mite more ominous now, isn't it? Don't you find? Oh, bloody hell. That's a jump and a half. Oh, really? Ha! <laughs> Can I... Oh. Worth a try, I suppose. Ha! <laughs> God, these things, they're really tough, these guys, aren't they? Ah. Oh, you I can get. With a little bit of luck. Ow. No, I'll get you up there. Why not? Oh, that's a collapsing bridge. If ever I saw one. Oh, shit. It's just too tempting. That's the thing. It's just too tempting. It looks far too stable. Of course it's a collapsing bridge. What else could it be? This probably collapses too. Yeah. Can't make it too easy, can we? Uh, you acquired the fibula of Risp the Ranger. Alright. Uh, let's have a look at that, shall we? Fibula of Risp the Ranger. Risp Scrimshaw was known for his reckless nightly walks in the woods. He said that they helped him think about what was beyond. Beyond even the high wills. Alright. There's some of that beautiful uh, Diablo-esque music there. And it is fabulous. I mean, the soundtrack is out of this world to this game. It's beautiful. Oh, please, please, please re-release Diablo 2 on this format. I would be so happy. I would be so happy. Actually, no, I wouldn't, because I'm not going to give Blizzard any fucking money. Um, the thorned symbol? What's this? Ooh, hello. Thorns braided with enormous patience by calloused hands, creating a protective symbol. Only unwavering conviction could prompt the creation of an item like this, and these fe feelings permeate its prickly service. It protects its wearer from damage through contact. That's pretty good. I'm still inside the creature. I can hear its roar outside. 
I can hear the thunderous beating of its heart. I just wanted to sleep, but I saw the miracle in my dreams. It spoke to me. That is why I lie down in the lady's open arms. But the miracle appeared to me again. It was more and more tangible. Then I woke up, but I was no longer myself. I was a prisoner trapped inside a rooted body. A body immersed in constant anger, in constant pain. I am awake in a sleeping body. Oof. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> I could actually do with a bit more of the rosemary rope. I'm sure there's... Oh, hello. Yes, I saw you growing there. Hmm. I can't reach that yet. Yet. Ow, bastard. Ha! Ah. Ooh, I'm gonna have to fall onto that from up there. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> oh. Indeed. Whoop. What be this then? Olive seeds! Oh, we know where they go, don't we? Oh, we have got another knot of rosemary rope. Ah. Um, lore. A handful of seeds carefully preserved. The stones of the olives were mashed into an oily unguent essential to the bag of any healer. Confessions of Terso, part four. On one of the nights during which the young man agonized amidst terrible febrile tremors with the wounds that plagued his body spreading more and more, I approached him so distraught that I held him in my arms and, shedding tears, I kissed him on the forehead. While I felt the ardor of his forehead on my lips, I noticed the young man was opening his eyes and looking at me, his agony apparently gone all of a sudden. Oh, this is like the, the origins of the, the kisses of wounds. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's have a look at that, shall we? Yet another relic. Got loads of the damn things. Uh, he dreamed all his life of making beautiful clothes for the nobility, but nearing the day of his death, the only thing he had the opportunity to sew were San Benitos. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now where are we going? Not that way, clearly. And that is going to collapse on us. That. Yeah. Hello. Hmm. You look possible, but I don't know what's below you, so I'm, uh... Yeah, I am reluctant to try. Yeah, we can do that. Hang on. Wait for it to get to a particular point. Oh, so close. Gotcha. There we go. 18 out of 38. Hmm, thought we'd have had more than that by now. Hello! How are you doing? Penitent one, heed my confession. Cowardice taketh root inside of me in the face of this new test by the grievous miracle. Well, what else has it got to test you with? If not sinners who have chosen wandering as the gentlest of penances. Oh, poor guy. Let my bent back cover my tears. Oh, so you're sort of doubting your faith now. Penitent one, may thy trade silence neither thy spirit nor thy frame. Okay. So what should I do for you now? Oh, fuck. Ow! Oh, yeah, these things. Shit, I hate these things. They are not pleasant. As you may have guessed, and they're very tough. They hock things at you. Which is not nice. And then they burn. Nah. Oh. 
Mother of Mothers. This area is huge. It's sort of an interlinking area for this second half of the game, and it is massive. Yuck. And highly decorous, as you can see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, not of the three worlds. This is where we find out. Ladies and gents, this is where we find out all about the miracle. Shall we? The knot of the three words. Here is where the first miracle took place. One devout and tormented youngster asked the high will for punishment. He placed a wooden log where he sat and prayed. He prayed, hoping to be heard. He prayed for pain, so he could ease the guilt that sharply pierced his soul. Then, the miracle manifested itself. It made roots grow and twists over his arms and legs, but not a cry nor a complaint came out from his mouth. Every inhabitant of this land bore witness to it, and all of them prayed before the besought eternal joy of that youngster. This triune tree that sprouted years after his death was named the Knot of the Three Words, for three are its twisted trunks, and three were the words spoken by that youngster before he died. My great guilt. Mm. Every year from its core flows a golden burning liquid perpetuating his memory and perhaps to remind us that the first miracle has not abandoned us. Mm. Interesting. For twisted are, were, and will be the paths of the miracle wonderful wonderful so that's where it comes from that was the first miracle and this is this is the site of it very cool eh? very cool so that is that youth became the twisted one the uh, the symbol of this um of this faith right ladies and gents when we come back We'll have a little bit more of an explore of the Mother of Mothers. Until then, bye-bye! <laughs>